Suits, many congratulations. What a win, what a comeback. Through to the last 16 for the second straight year. Just ask what that means to you. It's easy here, isn't it? <laughs> Surely. No, it's two sets down, I was thinking, I'm going to get battered 4 0 here. And I was scoring 57, 58, 60, and just not finding anything. And then I, I watched Danny's game, the first, well, the second round game, and watched what he does, and we studied it. And he had a great first set and a great fourth set, but he fell asleep in the middle. and he done exactly that again. He disappeared in the middle of the match, which gave me a chance to get back in the match. So I, I took every chance I got, so happy. You've had some great success over the last couple of years on the big stage, but the manner of that performance and that victory, where does that rank among your biggest wins so far? Uh, it's, it's hard to put that into perspective right away as soon as you come off the stage, but he's world number nine, you know, that, well, provisionally number eight, and probably a Premier League player. So for me to beat guys like that, I'm an all right dark player, but I, I love it. I absolutely love going toe to toe and taking people on, so it's pretty high up there, yeah. The fifth set was looking really tight, and that 1 5 2 finish to win you, it's only huge finishes on this stage already. Was that the turning point in the match, do you feel? Yeah, I normally just lay up, you know, it's like taking a seven iron off the tee on a five, par <laughs> five, you know, I just lay up and try and leave a big finish. Nah, it's just luck. That's luck, isn't it? Because nine times out of ten you miss in finishes, and it went in, and that's what happens on that stage for me, so long may it continue. You've had a very, very busy Christmas period, working Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. What are your plans now for the next couple of days? I'm sure you'll be asking a few of your mates for, to fill in for you over the next few I'll days. I'll do it tomorrow. No, I'm not. <laughs> um, yeah, I've, I've got to sort that out. That's, that's, that's my job, so I'll, I'll sort it out tonight when I go back to the house. And Gabriel Clemens next up in the last 16. You had a fantastic German contingent. I know you said you're up for the battle, and that will be a battle. Yeah, it's, look, there's... There's top seeds left in this, and I'm not a seed, so everybody's a better player than me that's left in the tournament, apart from Josh. But he's catching me anyway in one year, so I'm unseeded, and I'll keep knocking out seeds. Let's, let's try. Good. Thanks, Evan. Suits, congratulations. 2-0 down. You looked a little bit dejected walking off for that break. What did you say to yourself? Because you seem to fire yourself up coming back out. I was actually gutted, because I thought I think I only won one leg. I'm not sure, because... I need to watch your back, but I think I won one leg, and I think, come on, Suits, you're better than this. You, I wasn't scoring anything, I wasn't hitting. I don't think I'd had a 180 at that point, maybe I had a few 140s, but that's not normally my game, but I find it hard to get my scoring game on that stage. Finishing works, but my scoring game's just not there. And I went back, went off the stage at 2-0 down and thought, come on, Suits. I just, I just had a little word myself, now's the time to, to win a set. I was actually just trying to win a leg, if I'm being deadly honest, because I thought Danny was going to bash me. You touched on it there, when you went home, back to work, pictures, selfies, whilst, whilst during your work gear, you're getting recognised all over the place. What's the media attention been like back at home since? It's, it's great, and, and having one of the papers down here with me on, on the sort of World Championship run is great, and it's good for the guys at work as well. You know, I was standing in the practice room and the picture, that, that selfie went up on the screen, so I'm like, that's on Sky. That's on Sky Sports right now, and my chef will probably be all watching it at home because we're off duties. And the boys will love that, so that's a great part of Dark. You know, someone like me can have my mates involved in, in the journey. I know you said you've got to go back and sort that logistically, but the longer this run goes on, there's literally 24, maybe 36 hours between games. You might be owing someone a lot of hours come January the 4th. I'm always over there. <laughs> if I'm here on January the 4th, then um, I'll pay the guys back. But everyone, will, the guys at my station muck in, and we're all we're all similar ilk, so they'll all do what they need to do to help me out. You've been in many pressure situations throughout your whole life, whether it's the army, the fire, fire, or up there. It's the worst. Oh, a, mil <laughs> a million miles over the fire service. A million miles over. Some of the stuff that you have to do in the fire service doesn't come, doesn't even come close to what. That's nothing up there. Nothing. Congratulations. Cheers, folks. So, so what point did you sort of believe you could win that? Because you said it 2-0, it could have been a 4-0, it could have been over. I think only in the last set. I think the 152 obviously gave me a massive boost, then I went 180 right after that. I thought, oh, wow, man. And I hit 180 the back of that. So is that nine perfect darts? I'm sure that's nine perfect darts. 152, 180, 180. Yeah. Just in the wrong order, isn't it? <laughs> but at that point, I felt like I was thrown a lot better, a lot smoother, a lot. I didn't have that jerk that I dropped under the 20. So. I don't know, when you're involved in a, a game like that, that you have to fight your way back, then I think massive checkout changed the game. The 1 5 2 probably changed the game. Yeah. One of two unseeded players left in the competition, you and Josh, obviously. Do you believe 
you're right up there and you're playing at the same level as, as those big cities. Well, we talked about it a wee while ago, so imagine an Alan Suter Josh Rock final. The two unseeded players that are left in. Why not? Let's do it. Do you believe it's possible? Of course it is. Why is it, why is it not possible? Of course it is. I'm not being arrogant. I just think you can beat, if I beat the world number 9 8 there, Josh has beat the world number 9 10 yesterday, why can't we both beat the final? Cheers, guys. Cheers, guys. Um, Alan, you obviously had pockets of support from Scotland and uh, both. How, how much did that help you? Amazing. See, having all the guys down today in the back room and just on the walk on there, they were all standing with my shirt on, Scotland flag, salt tyres everywhere. It was actually really good and this, the crowd weren't as bad today actually. I, I think I'm learning to zoom out from it and just not even think about it but I was egging them on a little bit because I was getting beat. I thought I might as well go out with a bit of summon but I think they went a bit quiet after I started playing decent. So. Did you think you'd get the crowd on side when you're just six perfect darts going for that darts? Like, it's, so it's hard for players to express that when you come and sit here because you don't know. I think you guys probably see it more than when you're on the stage. The stage is a lonely place, you know, and I think sometimes you pick up on good stuff and you pick up on bad stuff, but when people at the front are supporting you, you get that and you can feel it. And one of my mates, Andy Spence, kept coming down the front every set going, Come on, just it's your turn. So that was a big boost for me. Having someone just sort of going focus. I saw you at one point pointing at the crowd. I don't know if that was a key moment. Was, was that you telling the support to be quiet, or was that you? I was getting hammered by him. I was getting absolutely hammered by this guy right in the front row, right in the front seat. Every single throw, he was hammering me. And then he said, "Come on, suits." And I was like, "Wait a minute, what?" Nah, because he was hammering me. He's giving me the Scotland get bad. He's giving me abuse, and I'm thinking, "Wait a minute." But the rest of the guys at the table were supporting me, but he gave me a boost and I thought, don't, don't switch sides now. Come on. Just, if you're going to be against me, be against me. I'll, I'll play for it. How, how much a, a dream is this for you right now? It's not a dream, it's just this darts. It's not a dream. I'm, I know I can play darts. And to get to the last 16, two years in a row is it's crazy. It is crazy when you think I'm not a seed and going out of tour car for two years. But I've watched the PDC for... 10, 15, 20 years and thought, I'm better than half of these guys. So I'm now proving it.